Hello again, Guardians! Zero will be making his usual return to the tower tomorrow at 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Except this time, he's gonna have some new goodies. First and foremost, he'll have his typical lot of four items, one armor piece for each class, as well as a random weapon. What's going to be interesting to see is if he's gonna have any of the new exotics that the Dark Below DLC has brought with it. In addition, as of last week, he has started to sell a new currency called Exotic Shards, which you can purchase for seven strange coins. You can also get exotic shards from dismantling an exotic. Here's a fun pro tip though. You can take an existing exotic weapon that you've maxed out in terms of experience and break it down for at least two shards. This is very reminiscent to when people were breaking down max experience legendary weapons for five to six energies instead of the typical two to three. So take advantage of this if you have any duplicate weapons that you happen to have leveled up. Back to Zer though. He will now have 12 new versions of previous exotics that will change week to week. Based on the preview, we can see that he offers two pieces of armor for each class. In addition, it also appears he will have six weapons for you to upgrade as well. Each upgrade will require you to have the old version of the exotic and an exotic shard to purchase it. Once you purchase it, however, you'll lose all the experience you've gained for the item and will have to re-level it. Therefore, again, if you happen to have duplicates, it may be wise to use the non-leveled version and upgrade that so you don't have to lose out on using one of your stronger weapons or armors. Another pro tip here would be to save turning in all your Thursday bounties so that you can level up your new exotic faster. This way, you can capitalize on Thursday and Friday's bounties. Make sure to pick up the Urn of Sacrifice quest from Eris Morn. You purchase the Urn from Xur. The cost is unknown as of now, but the rumor is that this will give you the Husk of Pit, which should give you the first iteration of the new exotic auto rifle, Necrochasm. If you happen to be low on strange coins, make sure to do your weeklies so that you'll have the strange coins to buy either exotic shards or any of the new items that Xur is selling. Good luck Guardians, let us hope Xur doesn't sell Sunbreakers or Void Fang Vestiment upgrades, but he probably will.